it. Welcome to another vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in so long and there's so much that I need to catch you guys up on and just chat about and show you some of the things that my students have been doing. Um, yeah, there's just been a lot going on. Um, Monday and Tuesday of this week was parent visitation and the parents can come in from 10 till 2 and they sit with their student wherever they may be. So in the classroom, if they have a special, they go to special. So I try to do a fun, different activity for those days, and I will show you that because it was a total hit, um, and the kids, the parents, everyone loved it. So it's definitely something fun and easy and not that messy, and you could probably do it in your classroom or at home, um, depending on if you're a mom or a teacher or you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that. I'll show you some of the things that my kids have been doing. And I hung some artwork finally. I feel like I have not had any time to hang artwork in the hallway. I hung a lot of artwork this week. Um, and then yesterday we had a snow day. I, it was not supposed to be a bad storm and I'm really glad that they made the call for us to stay home because it ended up being really bad. And today we had a two hour delay. So I'm currently, it's before school. Um, I'm currently like on my planning right now and I haven't had a class yet because we had to our delight. So I get to see kindergarten first, second, and third this afternoon, um, which is awesome because I love K through three. So it is just a really fun Friday today. And I have my winter little penguin sweater on. I think I got this at Walmart like years ago, but I like to wear it if like we had a two hour delay or a snow day or something like that because it's just fun and festive. Speaking of festive, I feel like now that there's snow on the ground, I need to decorate for Christmas. I'm really excited to do that. I might do that this weekend or I might wait until after Thanksgiving. Um, I am doing Vlogmas. I'm going to try to do Vlogmas this year. Um, it's just something that I've always wanted to do and I have been watching YouTube for years, 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 like decade. And um, I just remember all of my favorite YouTubers like doing Vlogmas and it was always so fun. I loved watching them. Um, I rewatch their Vlogmas like all the time too. And it's just something that like I'm excited to do now that I have a YouTube channel. So um, yeah, hopefully I can do it. <laughs> I mean, like filming every day and editing every day, like that's a lot, but I think I'm gonna keep them a little shorter and festive and just and try to control how much footage I get because if I get less footage, it's less that I have to sift through um, for you guys. So I'm gonna try, we'll see. If I miss a couple of days, it's okay. But still, it'll be more videos than what I'm doing now. So, and they'll be fun and festive and it'll be fun for me too. Okay, so let's get into what I've been doing with my kiddos. They're turning out great. They're not constellations yet because they're, they haven't done that part, but the start of their constellation project, this is fifth grade. You could do this with fourth. Honestly, you could probably even do it with third. Um, but they have glued their mountain ranges onto their painted backgrounds and you can see I did give them much freedom like they could have went this direction or this direction it's totally up to them um, but I don't know how I'm going to do the actual constellations yet I have been thinking and thinking about it and I almost want to do string but then I was like how am I gonna get the string to adhere to the paper and then I thought what if I got like embroidery string and they actually sewed the constellation because really the constellation would just be different points that they would have to sew to to make their stitch that long if that makes sense it makes sense to my brain but I'm a visual person and like I can kind of like see it in my head I don't know if I'm explaining it in that way but basically like if they had to make a line from star to star to in their constellation that would be their stitch and then that would be another stitch and their stitches would actually create their constellation um, I think that would work. I think I don't think that colored pencil or even oil pastel would come out clean and neat looking because this is just so beautiful and their craftsmanship has been so great that I really want to be careful um, what I do with their constellation so that it doesn't ruin what they've already accomplished. Because I mean, this is beautiful on its own. Like this art project could be done honestly, um, but. I just, I like the constellation part of it. They love learning about that. So I still want to incorporate that as best I can. And then I think maybe I will, now this paper is not small enough because it's just something I have laying here, but I will put it on a 12 by 12 black square um, so that it has that black background as well. So this is again, fifth grade turning out great. Also fifth grade is doing a, and fourth grade is doing a cardinal project. I'm um, kind of like balancing back between both um, to keep engagement up and also like for kids who um, 
or and they miss a step or something like it gives them a nice makeup day they can work on this if they're making it up and then I have the kids who are already ready to move on working on this cardinal project so they actually used art for kids hub the youtube channel that i love if you don't haven't seen this yet you have to have to search for it art for kids art for kids hub i will link it below i use it so much in my classroom so much like if there's ever an off day like today i'm using it and i know the kids are going to be crazy they had off yesterday they had two hours later today they have one day of school next week and then they have break um we have conferences but i'll get into that later so i know they're gonna have an off day and so i'm doing an art for hub art for kids hub activity with them um because they love it and it's guided drawings so they practice listening and they practice following directions and that's what they did because that way I could work with the students on this and they can work independently on this. Um, so it's a cardinal, they're gonna color it with oil pastels or colored pencils, whatever they chose. And then I think we're going to put some snow or something in the background. And then I have these first grade owls that are turning out awesome. I hung some in the hallway. So I had them the other day put little white dots on them and I don't know if you can see it like if the camera's picking it up but we did sprinkle some white beautiful glitter on it as well here's another one the glitter's like literally falling all over me right now I'm gonna have glitter everywhere but that's okay never have enough glitter I have a love-hate relationship with glitter though because it really doesn't um, ever go away once you bring it out in the classroom here's another one this one, and if you haven't seen my other vlog, these are secondary colored owls. They learned how to mix their secondary colors. Um, and that was the objective of the lesson. But then they also did a guy drawing with me for the owl portion. And then they added their branch and their glitter. So yeah, I will show, I will insert like a clip of these up in the hallway. I also put them in the hallway with the mouse paint projects from kindergarten that are finished as well. They turned out great. So those are up there. Um, and yeah, I'm so excited to finally be putting stuff in the hallway. I have not had time and stuff just wasn't done yet. So I'm getting the lobby to like be filled with artwork, which is as it should be. These are what the kids did with their parents and parent visitation. I the first day I had the kids draw their families I thought it was appropriate for parent visitation but they took so much time that they didn't get to the color portion which is the best part so I just then let it be open-ended and said they could create any drawing creative drawing that they wished from their imagination um, I did give them a few ideas I said their family I showed them examples of a giraffe I drew flowers I drew and then I also showed them see if I can find it because the kids did do this one um, this one I've done this lesson for years but it's called a loopy line fish and you start with a loopy line going across your paper and then all the loops become little fish and an underwater scene so um oh and then this is like the giraffe that I showed them as well as an example. So some of the kids who needed that help with getting an idea had that to help them, but then other kids who have a very strong imagination on their own and really want to draw and have that time to express themselves um, had that option as well. And sometimes it's so interesting to see what kids will draw if you just let them draw what's ever on their brain, on their mind, and in their imagination. So not only do these turn out beautiful, but the whole process is pretty mess free. Um, I mean, you would think that this is paint, but it's not, it's not paint. <laughs> um, so that's the coolest part of it. It's not that messy. It's not that time consuming. There's little cleanup and the results are just gorgeous. I mean, these are something that like they catch your eye in the hallway. They're just beautiful and not one of them is the same. That's an amazing part of the, this lesson too is every single one is a little bit different um not even if like you let the drawing portion be open-ended just the coloring it's bound to be different every single time so um what they did was they took a transparency remember these <laughs> my school still has these packed away and they always ask for them because there's so many art projects that you can do with them so i had them take a transparency a thicker sheet of white paper like the 
regular drawing paper or printer paper won't work because it's just not thick enough. Um, and then they drew whatever they wanted. Then they took their markers and they applied um, marker onto their transparency and then they spritzed it. And I got these just from Walmart in the like travel section. Um, I got a bunch of them and they took them and just spritzed their marker and then pressed it on the white paper, lifted it up and voila. They had their marker transfer from the transparency to their white paper and it turned out beautiful. And the kids' faces, when they lifted it up, I mean, by far best part because it was a surprise and they were excited and it was just that like wow factor and the parents loved it too it's a really good lesson if you have anyone coming like grandparents day this would be a great lesson for grandparents day um, because it's fun and just exciting and engaging really really engaging um, so <laughs> it went really well there was a really funny moment there was a kindergartner she's so sweet who was struggling to press that so I told them they could press it like this like this with their thumb or like that helped too but he was still kind of struggling with just fine motor skills I guess um with this you know if they struggle with fine motor they might struggle with this in the, on the kindergarten level at least and he was trying so hard to press it and he had it like this and he went like that and it like squirted at his face and he instantly I, his face was so cute it was just like and he looked straight at me like oh my gosh am I in trouble and I was giggling so he he knew he was it was okay um but it was so sweet it was so cute and then with that lesson today I am just going to continue to frame them I want to put these up in the hallway um I think I might hang them from the ceiling in the hallway I haven't really decided quite yet but if I did I would do it back to back and then um have that black frame around it to make the Sharpie marker pop I think I forgot to mention that they have to draw in Sharpie marker or it will like wash away they can't use washable markers they can't use pencil uh, it has to be a permanent type of marker for this project to work okay last and final update um and then i'm going to start huckling some of the artwork and yeah then go to lunch and it'll be time for my first class after that kind of weird when it's a two-hour delay but anyway uh the coffee cat <laughs> this one has a mohawk you wanted to do a little mohawk and who am I to crush a kid's dream, you know? Like, I couldn't say no. So, uh, this I just grabbed from their drawer with his little mohawk, but they started their actual coffee cups. I have them in this envelope because we did not glue them yet. Um, but they are so cute. Oh, I don't even know if maybe I can't show these. I might not be able to show most of these because they really wanted to put their names on the front like Starbucks did or Starbucks does with your coffee cup. Oh, bummer. Well, maybe I can cover some up. Okay, so here's the coffee cup. I'm just covering up the name. Um, it's hard to show, but they put on the little paws. This is the coffee cup. I did a guided drawing for this part. This is a paper bag they cut on the shape. So it's like that little holder to make sure that your hand doesn't get burnt. And then many of them wanted to draw the little Starbucks lady as well. How awesome is that? Um, I actually think I'm going to try and contact our local Starbucks and see if they would hang some of these up. Like, would that not be the coolest thing if they got their artwork hung up in the local Starbucks? I just think, like, how amazing. So here's another one. She drew the Starbucks lady, too, and then put Starbucks coffee down there. How neat. If you haven't seen the intro for this lesson, it links to an artist, um, Ryan Connors, and I'll put that, I'll link that blog, blog? <laughs> I'll link that vlog where I talk about her work and what inspired this lesson and the kids love it. So yeah, that is the update for today. So I am going to start gluing some things. I have to head to lunch fairly soon. I'm also buying today. So that takes time to go through the line. It's pizza Friday and next week I'm going to be trying to eat healthier. Um, so this is like my last pizza Friday. So I'm going to enjoy it. I did think of something. I wanted to share with you guys. So I was at Target and no, I was at Michael's and they had all of their garland on sale and like their Christmas garland. And I found this garland in the Christmas section and I, well, one, I don't like, I don't know. I'm pretty traditional with my Christmas um, decorations, like red, green, golds. So I wouldn't hang this for Christmas, but I thought how perfect for my art room. It's these little pom-poms. 
and it goes awesome with the white and then the um, lights above it. So yeah, that's my little addition that I don't think I showed before that I put right above um, the board. Hey guys, it is after school. Obviously, I'm in my car um, and I am at Joanne's. I have to run in and get a few things. Um, I just wanted to like wrap up the day, basically. My afternoon today was pretty good, like for what is to be expected of a two hour delay. The kids only have one day next week, so um, I know that, you know, behavior wise, silliness, like just the chattiness and stuff like that, they're going to be excited. They're going to have a lot of energy. Um, so I just wasn't honestly expecting like the best classes ever. And it's, it was what I expected, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, we did a fun activity. I taught them how to draw like a turkey and um, we just had kind of like a chill class because it was the last time I would see them before our break. Next week's a little wonky and I doubt I'm going to put up a vlog for um like in the classroom because I have one day next week with them. Then Monday night I have conferences um until the evening. Now I don't have a lot of conferences because I'm the art teacher and I feel like that's just not an area where parents are really concerned. Um I think I have like one or two and that's honestly it for Monday and then Tuesday I have again conferences all day if the kids don't come in we see we have conferences all day to the night so basically how my school works it is we get off Wednesday the day before Thanksgiving if we make up those hours after school Monday and Tuesday with those conference times if you don't have conferences you still go and you just have your like work day yeah I don't know I might not get like a full teacher vlog up next week um, just because I know like coming up I'm gonna be having so many uploads and videos and stuff like that I have so many ideas in my head um, and like with Etsy ideas too and sometimes I feel like I am just like overflowing I guess that's the artist in me um, I need to just sit down and I need to just sit down and like journal and write down everything like all of my ideas um, I love, I don't know, like my mom for my birthday just gave me two really pretty like journal books and so I'm going to use those just as like brain dump books and like write down all of my ideas and stuff like that just to keep it in one place um, because yeah, then I get into this point of my like vlogging where I'm just rambling about all of my ideas instead of writing them down. <laughs> so story of my life. Okay, I am going to go into Joanne's now. Um, if they have really cute stuff, I might bring you along with me. I'm going in for a purpose. I'm crafting something for uh, my friend who is having a baby, which makes me just realize I should probably text her and be like, don't watch my vlogs because I know she watches my vlogs sometimes. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to let her know, like, don't watch my vlogs until, until, that's, until afterwards. So I'm going in to get some supplies for that and... If they have some Christmas stuff, maybe I will look at it. <laughs> okay, so so far I have cinnamon um, pine cones. They smell so good. I got two new scissors. They seriously have some scissors that are like $50, but I need new fabric scissors. I got some green felt and then I wanted to show you guys they have the toolbox this is what I used it's very similar if it's not the same one of what I used for my teacher toolbox and it's 40% off right now so if you need a teacher toolbox um, come to Joanne's because they are and I feel like this is a little larger than mine I'm not sure but I mean 40% off and it's $20 so that's not bad but all of their stuff is 40% off, so I'm thinking, I don't know, I might get something um, to store a bunch of my felt and fabric and stuff, but we'll see. Okay, they have all of these little critters, all 60% off. I am such a sucker for these, like, little snowy critters from during Christmas. 
They're so cute. Oh my gosh, especially this mousse. I love that. I might have to get him. But I just love them and they have so many of them. Look at this one. So pretty in the owls. Oh my gosh. dark <laughs> so I'm gonna make this short um I would have vlogged more in there but it was honestly so crowded like so so crowded uh I did not get like I don't know I saw a lot of really cute Christmas stuff I just I wanted to wait a little bit I think we're gonna go out this weekend maybe and do some Christmas shopping and I already have like a decent amount of stuff so I control myself with that um but I did get one thing Christmassy let's see if I can find it because she did not she didn't wrap it. I don't know why she didn't wrap it. That's like a pet peeve of mine. If you get something ceramic or whatever and then they don't wrap it. But anyway, they had these mugs. They were, of course, it's too bright even though it's like really dark out. Let me see if I can lower the brightness. Um, They had these mugs for $3.99. Do I need another mug? No. No, I do not. But they were really cute and I love festive stuff. So they got it. I mean, $3.99. You can't beat that. Um, so yeah, and I got those cinnamon cones that you saw. Just need to figure out like a bowl or something to put them in. I got the felt, the scissors, and I think that's like it. All right guys, and so I am going to actually wrap up this vlog. Um, I hope everyone's having a great day. I know I'm really excited that it is the weekend and I have a shortened week next week, so that's exciting too. And yeah, if you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up before you go. If you are new, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.